Reaperman here with just a very quick video for Analog Interactive NT Mini users. Um, on the, the jailbreak firmware, you may be trying to play, say, your ColecoVision or if you have one of the newer ones in television. And the number pad on these controllers just does not exist on, in the NES world. Well, what you can do is you can purchase one of these NTT data controllers, and which does have a keypad for Super Nintendo, and then either build or make an NES to SNES controller adapter. This one is known to work. It's by Rofnet, and I finally got a hold of one of these. Uh, as of the time of writing, they're available at um, both their website and also their eBay store. So they're, they're finally available, and I finally got mine in after all the 2020 shipping delays. Plugged it right in, and it just worked flawlessly. I thought for sure I was going to have to futz around in some menus or something, but that is not the case at all. Now, if you don't have or don't want to get one of these setups and all is not lost, Kevtris was nice enough to map the number one key to start on any of the uh, NES controllers. And that generally starts the game at single player and the easiest difficulty. And some of these games are, are okay to play that way and some are just, just a little bit too easy that way. Also for... <clears throat> people that own the original NT Mini that came with an 8-bit dough controller that had L and R functions on it and uh, a whole bunch of other things and there are actually key combinations that will hit a whole bunch of these uh, ColecoVision keypad numbers. Unfortunately mine broke pretty much the second time I tried to use it and I've never been able to get it to rebind. So yes. Anyway that's what I've got here is the Rofnet adapter and the NTT data controller here. And around both of them, just my little tip of the day is to grab some of these little cable managers here and put these on all your controllers because they really keep things from, uh, from tangling up too badly. I also tend to put a lot of these into um, Ziploc bags when I chuck them in drawers and stuff just because these will still tangle somehow. If it can happen, it will happen. Anyway, Reaper Man out.